Tell me about what it was like for you being on the mound after the guys put up a big inning for you early in the game. It means everything, Nancy. I mean, it just lets you to it lets you relax on the mound. You, you don't feel like you have to be perfect or that if you give up a run or two or have a bad inning that you cannot come back from that or that your offense will be in the hole. Uh, you know, when I pitched on the 98 Yankees, it seemed like, Nancy, every time I went to the mound, I had a five-run lead, and I can't tell you how much confidence that gives you as a pitcher. And, you know, you have to feel for a guy like Jacob deGrom for the Mets who never has that feeling. I don't think he knows what that feeling is like, but it is a world of difference for a starting pitcher to have run support. Perfect segue. He can't buy some run support right now. So I want to ask you this as well. Have you been through a stretch where you were on the mound, you felt terrific, yet the guys weren't able to score for you? I think every pitcher who's been around a while, especially starting pitchers, understands that feeling. We all go through it. You hope that it evens out over the long run. It really never does, Nancy. I mean, you know, you have to have a really big sample size to sort of have that sort of thing even out. Uh, I was last in the league in run support in 1993 when I pitched with the Royals. I signed a big free agent contract, uh, tried to justify it. Got no run support. I think I ended up that year 11 and 14 with a record, uh, and and I just thought I was a failure. But in reality, um, as I look back and look at some of the metrics, it was one of my best years pitching. Every game was one to nothing, two to one, three to two, and I kept us in a lot of games. And I got 11 wi 11 wins out of the last uh, last in the league run support that year. So uh, I know what it feels like. Uh, you feel like a failure, but in reality, all you can do is the best you can out there. You have no control as a pitcher over how much, how many runs uh, your offense is going to score on any given night. I'm glad you took a look back and reassessed. Okay, today it's Jordan Montgomery on the Hill for the Yankees. It's our Kia keys to the game. What are you expecting from Monty? A very aggressive approach. You know, when Monty is attacking the hitters and throwing all of his pitches for strikes, uh, that's what makes him better than his whole repertoire. I mean, there's not one pitch that he throws that's well above average that you say, wow, he's got an explosive fastball, or wow, that curveball is off the table. All of his pitches work together, and, and that's what makes him sort of greater than the sum of all of his parts. So uh, with Montgomery, it's really the mix. He knows how to pitch. He has the formula. Pitching in, hard in, throwing his cutters in to right-handed batters and change-ups away. I think if there's one pitch you watch from Monty, it's his improving change-up. He's got more confidence in it. He's throwing it more often, and he's had some success with it. So uh, that's the one pitch I think I would key on today. How good is Monty's change-up? Always fabulous. Thanks, David, so much. We will see you for the call with Michael.